And now, this is the old building of the pre-war center in Washington. And this is the entrance to the museum. Uh, when we go downstairs, I'll tell you about the opening of the museum and the a poor fate of this museum. Let's go this way. children and then uh, when the uh, fascist managed to come to the center of the city and to the bank of the Volga, uh, they uh, had their military hospital here in the basement and they were dying German soldiers and officers there. Uh, they, were, they suffered bitter want and when the counter offensive began, Paulus was uh, here, where the village Gumra is now situated. I'll show you this place. And then he had to um, uh, go to the center of the city and he found himself in the military hospital, in the military hospital, in the basement. Uh, it looked like this. And uh, on the 25th of January, um, uh, the 38th Brigade under Bumako came from the um, uh, southern districts of the city. And uh, from uh, Chokhov's uh, being taken prisoner, they found out that Paulus, the commander of all the fascist army, uh, was uh, in the basement of the city. And our uh, soldiers and officers started firing at the building and uh, immediately there appeared a German with a white flag in his hand. And that meant that they were ready to surrender. And uh, so uh, Lieutenant Ilchenko, he was the first to go uh, to this basement and uh, he uh, remembered that, uh, uh, and uh, he says that Paulus uh, was uh, very thin, very sad, but he was shaven, uh, he looked neat, and uh, uh, a few, you know, and also a few officers with him, they were also soldiers sitting, sitting, uh, crouching, crouching at the walls, and the smell was awful here because of that military hospital, the smell was awful. And then Paulus was told by Lieutenant Tilchenko that he had to surrender, but he said, oh no, I'll surrender when uh, I'm taken to the uh, officer of high rank, a general, not less, because I'm a field marshal. And so uh, they decided to take him to the headquarters of the 64th Army, you know, the commander Suvirov, and they did it. Now we'll have a look at this picture. Uh, first of all, first of all, they um, they suggested that Paulus uh, would give an order to all of his soldiers to surrender, and Paulus said, "I can do this because I am now a prisoner. I am not a commander, and I think he did it because he did not want them to feel guilty." 
guilty in front of Hitler and in front of some other generals. Uh, but uh, he had to sign uh, the, um, uh, uh, the decree of capitulation and it was uh, and it was done in the headquarters of uh, um, General Shumilov. And uh, with uh, Paulus taken prisoner on the 31st of January, there were two groups of, uh, two encircled groups of uh, Germans. And uh, the uh, southern group capitulated on the 31st of January with the um, uh, with Paulus taken prisoner, and the northern group capitulated on the uh, 2nd of February, because Paulus uh, said he would not give him an order to surrender. And uh, these, are, these are photos, these are also uh, some articles from the newspapers, for example, Will go as far as Berlin, and uh, also you can see um, uh, we'll defend our uh, uh, we'll defend our Volga, our mother, because the Volga for many Russians is like a mother. They say mother Volga, mother Volga. We'll defend our Volga, and also many other photos. And this is this is the central department store before uh, the Battle of Stalingrad. It looked like this, then it uh, looked like this, and now you've seen for yourself how it looks today. Now we'll go further on. <laughs> And every year, our groups of school children, uh, they go uh, around the Volgograd region and uh, they find uh, in the um, earth some uh, personal belongings of soldiers, of officers, uh, and all of these objects have been found in the Volgograd region. You can see this. Mm -hmm. Many of them. how Germans used it. You see, if you uh, drop such a cup from the aircraft and it is going down, there is a terrible sound. It's like a sirene. And, uh, and it is, the sound is so awful that people um, uh, that people yes, that people are afraid and uh, I, you are uh, laughing, but if you heard that sound, you would be frightened too, because it's how woo, and it, yes, it, it, it was awful, and they used uh, it, them in such a way, those tongues, and this is the motorcycle. Ah, now you see, uh, it, 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 only if you throw it from the air, from the aircraft. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Girls? Ah. Okay. 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 Okay
Kijk hier. Uh, dus 